provided them uh, more lethality and protection. The developers came up with an ergonomic and compact bullpup design. A bullpup configuration, it's a very different configuration from conventional where you're bringing a feeding mechanism behind the strong hand and the trigger. You get to reduce the overall length of the whole firearm, but not reduce your barrel. You still have a 10 inch barrel and a 19 inch overall so machine gun. For tactical entry, you have um, an indexing problem with longer weapons. Longer weapons tend to muzzle sweep your uh, teammates. This weapon gives you the ability to sweep low, sweep quickly when doing room entries and clearing. This slick appearance has made the P90 a star of TV and movies, but it wasn't designed just to look good. It has rounded corners, no rough edges on it. That way, when the officers are in their SWAT gear or protection detail, it doesn't hang up on their gear or their suits, depending on what they're wearing. It's very sleek, it's very compact. There's nothing jutting out, such as magazines or pistol grips, that will snag on a soldier's gear. They can move it very easily. If you have to cover a door or move from one door to another, it's not jamming on the door jam with things hanging off the side of it. Again, the designers created a brand new round to accompany their weapon. The 5.7 cartridge was designed at a NATO request. They wanted something to bridge the gap between handgun and, and rifle ammunition. It's not going to over-penetrate and hit somebody behind them, or if, heaven did you miss your intended target, and it starts going down range, as soon as it hits something of mass, it dumps all of its energy right there and it falls to the ground. Even the magazine was completely redesigned from scratch. We like the magazine. The magazine is high capacity with 50 rounds in it. It gives you a considerable amount of rounds to carry into a situation. If you notice, she's laying on top of the firearm instead of being underneath, sinking out, getting in the way. That makes the total firearm more sleek. It also gives you ease of feet. Gravity's working on your side and not against you. Another innovation comes in the form of a transparent magazine casing, which brings an immediate advantage. When you're up and in a firing position, in your peripheral vision, you can actually see if your lap rounds are getting low. And if you have a lull on the action, you can do a quick magazine change put a fresh 50 round magazine in, and you're back up on target. With the P90, the magazine is transparent. So as your peripheral vision, you can look down and see how many rounds you've used. And as a result, how many rounds are left in the magazine for future use. The P90 is best suited for close quarter battle. Things that are up close, things that are personal. Well, if you look at many NATO countries, uh, they are utilizing the P90 for its intended purposes as a personal defense weapon for vehicle crewmen, pilots, uh, tank crews, rear echelon personnel. Anybody like that who needs something that's a very compact package that, can, that they can carry very easily and employ very easily in tight spaces and that can penetrate the enemy's body armor. And this is one weapon that doesn't care if you're left or right-handed. It's ambidextrous, totally ambidextrous. Since it loads from the top, you can load it with either hand. Um, you can operate the controls with either hand uh, from either side, lefties, righties, doesn't matter. And that's critical in a tactical entry situation. You must be able to shoot left-handed or right-handed because if you do entries into a building, corners are left-handed and right-handed corners. Having an ambidextrous weapon like that is very, very advantageous.